Before I can model the top and bottom of the case, I need to model the 3GS phone. So I've measured up the phone, and now I've built that using a series of extrusions and fillets. Let's look at the first extrusion. So the sketch is 115.55 by 62.1 millimeters. I've also provided the solution using inches. I built a second extrusion on top of that first one. Then added fillets to the vertical edges. So those four vertical edges have fillets added to them. On the top edges, I added a fillet, and the radius of that fillet is 4.3 millimeters. A third fillet was added to the bottom of the phone. I also changed the face properties. Selecting properties, the face color style was changed to match the phone, which of course is chrome. For the other faces, I left those as as feature. So again, selecting the per face properties, we can see that that's the default as features. I then added an extrusion to represent the on-off button. That's the first of the extrusions, and then a small depression which matches the button on the phone. And I concluded that by doing an extrude cut to represent the screen. I also changed the properties, and I added water bubbles. You can add what you like in this particular case, but that looks pretty good. In the two videos that follow, I will show you how I modeled the top and the bottom of the case.